Okay, we do have a Lynx here drinking. Hey guys, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and I'm Lady Legend. With the last update, guys, we did have a few species change so that they no longer have a drink time. And when a species has its drink time taken away, in my opinion, they become much harder to hunt. Not only that, we actually have a couple more species that are going to be losing their drink times and not drink at all with, I would imagine, the next update. Lynx being one of them, they are not going to be drinking anymore, guys. So if you don't have a diamond lynx yet, I highly recommend that you hunt them while they are still drinking because they're tough to hunt. They're tough to find diamonds up with a drink zone. They're going to be that much harder without. Now, the other species that is no longer going to be drinking but still is right now is chamois. If you don't have a diamond chamois, which I don't have, now is the time to get one because you're just going to be left with those feed zones and that is really interesting. Now, today we're going to be hunting lynx with the Zarza 223. Let's see how it does. We're actually going to compare it to the Solikin and hunt some Lynx here in Medved. The other thing we're going to do today, guys, is check out all of the current hotspots for Lynx and for Chamois so that you guys can find a diamond before they lose their drink zones. We're also going to have a look at the current feed zones for Springbok now that they don't drink anymore. Now, if you guys do enjoy today's video, guys, or learn anything at all, I'm going to ask you to do one thing. Smash that like button. It is super amazing for the algorithm and I really do appreciate it. So thanks guys for that and let's head right into it. So I do have the Zarza 223 and the Solikin on me. Let's start with the 223. I have never shot a Lynx with it. Let's see how it does. Now I have been finding that the Zarza 223, I find it works absolutely fantastic on species such as raccoons and foxes and I would imagine Lynx. Let's try it out here. It's not so great on the bigger stuff. So this is the night vision scope. Looked like a good shot. Okay, I think we got a vital, I really do. It does take a moment for the quick kill to kick in. He's still not dead, but he will be shortly and splat. All right. So I would imagine that the Solikin will have faster quick kill. We are going to test it against the 223. Zarza. The Solikin is a 3 to 7 and the Zarza 223 and the regular 223 are both 2 to 4, so it is a stronger weapon. But you are allowed to hunt both Lynx and Chamois with both of them. You can use the Solikin. And that's another underrated weapon in my opinion. So with Lynx drinking at night, it is really hard to tell whether they're rare. You basically just have to shoot all of them and hope you pick up a rare. So this guy is a gray. He is definitely not rare. And that was a beautiful left long shot with the Zarza 223. So the quick kill is a little bit slow on it, but it does do the job. Once Lynx do change and don't have a drink time anymore, we're going to have to figure out all of their rest spots. And that's how we're going to have to hunt them. And it is going to become more challenging. I think it's challenging enough as it is. I have found one nine legendary Lynx on PC and I've been on PC for a year and a half now, guys. And it was a troll and oh my goodness, that guy took me forever to track down. He was extremely elusive. Now Lynx right now are drinking from 19 or 19.30 until 23 or 23.30. They currently are like that right now, guys, but Jaxie did say during the EW stream that they were going to lose their drink time. So I would imagine next update, I don't know when the next update is going to be. Our time is definitely limited. So I find really great spots to hunt Lynx right now, guys, is the left-hand side of the map. All these little lakes are really good. These little lakes, all in here, all good for Lynx. And I find more females and not as many Lynx are on the right hand side of the map. So one way that I have really enjoyed hunting Lynx, which is not going to work for us anymore once they lose their drink time is, I like to get into the center of the lake, lay prone and hammer on that jackrabbit collar and try to pull every Lynx that might be around out from their drink zone because as you can see, they are really, really hard to see even in their drink zone because it is super thick and they do drink at night and of course fog is an issue. And I am on PC, so it's actually gonna be even worse on console for fog because you can turn your fog settings off. This is actually no fog on PC if you can believe that. So if you are looking for a rare Lynx, they come in piebald, which is rare, about a 1% spawn rate, and they also come in albino and melanistic, both considered to be very rare, with a less than 0.1% spawn rate. So really, really not easy to find. Now let's see if there are more than one Lynx around this lake. 
Now, of course, your wind can be a factor when you're doing this. They're not gonna come, usually not gonna come straight into your wind. Also a good idea to park your dog so he doesn't spook any lynx off. And there, look at that. We didn't even know this five was here and out he comes because they're just hiding. You just can't see where they are. So this is a really great way to find them. So let's try the Solikin out this time. Now, the only thing is when you take a shot in Medved from prone, the shot often ricochets and hits the ground and you don't get your shot. So before I take this shot, I'm actually going to stand up. Now you don't have to use the night vision scope if you don't love it and just switch over to the Hyperion and go with your outline and that'll work just fine. All right, here we go with the Solikin. I think we got him. So guys, if you are looking to purchase the Solikin, you will find it in Weapon Pack 2. All right, actually the first shot. Oh, I did not get a vital. That is fascinating. Okay, that was a little low. They both were low. That did not work well. All right, we're gonna have to find another one. I think what we're actually gonna do is head over to New Zealand and check out the Shammy Drink Zones to try and help you guys find a diamond chamois before they stop drinking. Let's head there now. Okay guys, we are now in Te Awaroa and we are heading towards this lake right here because I know that chamois drink there. For the time being, they're not going to stay that way. Chamois has been a tough one for me. I still do not have a diamond chamois and I really need one, so now is the time. There already have been quite a few species that have already lost their drink time with the last update. Euro hair no longer drink, nor do scrub hair, and springbok no longer drink either, and I think a lot of people found this really, really really shocking. I'm not a fan of it, but it is what it is. We're definitely going to have to hunt them in their feed zones or their rest zones because they just aren't very thirsty. Okay, guys, so definitely confirmed chamois are still drinking, so I would imagine they will stop with the next update. And we do have a big girl in here. Oh, they're doing that little pop into the ground trick. No fair. I don't know if I even got a vital. No, I don't think I did. Nope. We're gonna get one. Well, that's the Solikin and we just dropped that chamois. For me, the class threes, the chamois and the lynx, I really do prefer the Solikin, I think, over the Zarza 223. Oh, look at that beautiful double lung shot. Unfortunately, I did hit her in the skull. When you hit an animal in the skull, guys, it damages the trophy organ and drops you a medal. So that was not the ticket, but double lung with the Solikin, that was 235 meters. The Solikin is absolutely fantastic for chamois. Now, if you are looking for chamois while they are still drinking, guys, this lake and this lake are fantastic for chamois. This lake is loaded with them. You will find them all around this lake right here, usually on the left side. And sometimes you can find chamois drinking a little bit in the Bay of Rest. They are also at this lake right here. Okay guys, we are now in Savannah and we are now looking for Springbok because they no longer have a drink time since the last update. So you want to hunt them in their feed zones and I do have one right here. So they feed from 8 until 11 or 11.30 and basically you just want to find those feed zones and then you can definitely hunt them but it is a lot harder to find feed zones than it is drink zones because you can just look at the map when you're looking for drink zones Head to a water source and spot away, and it is very easy to find zones. But when they're feeding, you basically have to look everywhere. Once you find the zones, then you're in good shape. Now, I am over here on the left middle of the map. Traditionally, this area has been amazing for scrub hair and for side striped jackals. I actually have shot a diamond jackal out here while I was hunting for scrub hair. I will definitely figure out where all the best feed spots are for Springbok since the last update, guys, and I will make a guide. We're gonna make a new Savannah Super Guide, but I have a lot of learning to do first. My absolute favorite way to find zones, especially feed and rest zones, guys, is by tracking. If you do pick up a Springbok track, follow it and find that zone. That way you can target them, not just shoot one traveling Springbok. So side striped jackals also have lost their drink time, so they are definitely gonna be a lot harder to hunt. Okay, we found a feed zone, all right. There is the feed zone right there. So there's one right there, and we found another one way up here. Did I get the second one? Maybe, yes I did, I did. So the quick kill is not the best. They live for quite a while. 
All right, so there is our first one. It is actually a gold level three, 93.9, and we just got left long, and we are using the polymers. So Springbok are a pretty big species to use the Zarza 223 on. I think I'm gonna stick with the Solikin myself. And again, not a lot of penetration. That's only a 76 meter shot. We didn't even get double lung there. So that is very interesting. So definitely look for some spring buck feed zones on the left side of the map. The other place I have found a couple zones is in this area here, guys. They are still feeding out here. There's a zone right there, 8.30 until 11. So there's another feed zone for spring buck, guys. There's another one out there. And there are some scrub hair right there. Let's see if we can spot them. There we go, there's a rest zone. So this area is absolutely still a great spot for rest and feed zones, especially for species that no longer drink. I really hope that helps you to find some of the diamonds that are going to become tougher very, very soon. And I really hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did guys, go ahead and smash that like button. It is super amazing for the algorithm and I really do appreciate it. And we will definitely see you guys in the next one. Take care guys.